Hi everyone, it's Laura the Quarantine Gardener and just uh, giving you kind of a view of some of the flowering plants here in my mother's garden and the progress. Those of you who have seen it in previous years, the Japanese maple there, the acer in the corner has really taken off. Uh, as have all of the other plants, hydrangea will be in flower later. Camellia just gone out of flower, honeysuckle coming into flower. Uh, and then you've got some uh, Jamaican primroses, geums, uh, wallflowers just gone out of flower. The campanula then just along the border there has just really begin to pop uh, and then I'm just going to show you Rosa Arthur Bell which is a fantastic rose if you're looking for a rose for your garden this is one I would highly recommend as you can see it's got the orange and bud opening to a very deep yellow very very fragrant flower and then just before the flower falls off it turns that lemony white so a lot of interest in this flower also quite disease resistant so that's a great thing and it's a repeat flowering fragrant rose which is a great thing to have in your garden then I just want to look underneath here here is campion it's a double campion and I deliberately put that in the garden because uh, I didn't want it to self seed which is what the regular campion which is one of our native um, kind of meadow and wildflower um, species uh, the red campion self seeds prolifically and normally I'd use that a lot in plantings because of that and also it's a huge pollinator of bees this one I wouldn't choose again it did do exactly what I wanted which is flower this way and not self seed everywhere through the border however it gets very little insect traffic and so these days as we really think about planting for other species other than ourselves it's something to bear in mind that the double flowering varieties do not um, attract pollinators because the pollen has gone out of them and put into that flower. That's what they're, they're bred to, to be, a double flower. So for example, you might think you're doing great things planting Cosmos, which is a great pollinator plant, um, but just check that it's a single variety. Uh, the double flowered Cosmos, Cosmos again would not attract uh, pollinators. Okay, everybody, hope you're enjoying the heat wave at last. Happy gardening.